so we've just glued the encoder image to the um, the end of the rotor here onto the uh, metal washer and it's worth taking a bit of time over this to get it um, nice and central and, and flat because you'll get uh, you'll get the best results we also need to um, glue the sensor board into the back of the motor here and what I've done with this one is to um, stick a couple of sections of matchstick on the back with this um, uh, RTV clear RTV glue so that we can let's see that's just a push fit over the middle there we just file it out till it fits nicely it's a bit of a friction fit but the um, matches on the back mean that it's easy to get it flat to give you the best results and so what, we, what we'll do in a minute is uh, solder some wires on there but you can see we can to set the timing on the motor we can just push it on there, the friction fit, fit the back of the motor and try it and when we want to adjust it we can move it a little, try it again and so on until we find the optimum position and then when we've done that we can get the um, silicon sealant again and just put a blob of glue on each corner to hold it there permanently Now this is where all the windings in the motor are connected together to form the the Y uh, configuration, and uh, sometimes it's a it's a little bit it's all twisted together. And it's a bit bulky because it's got this heat shrink on it. So what what you can do here to give you a bit more space to fit this um, this board is to take the heat shrink off, and um, I've just done that and put some polyimide tape around it, which is just as effective but a lot less bulky. So uh, it's um it fits in to the windings there neatly and we've got plenty of room then to install the, the optic sensors. So after getting all the bits ready we've, uh, now we've, we've just carefully inserted the rotor there and uh, next we have to to put the, uh, the, sp the spring washers and shims back just as they came out and on this motor they were all, um, there's about four of them there, they were all inserted in the back so I'll just pop them back on, they sit on the, the spacer exactly where they were before um, and then it's just a, a question of after we've wired it up we'll, we'll just replace the back <laughs> 